connection with a local girl who will be making it big over at the Olympics this watch. I'm here to dance in the Cousin Ceremonies, actually. And I came up here to audition in June. And I got accepted. And I've been up here since the middle of December. I think it's a, it's a cool thing that we have a local kid who's going to be part of the opening ceremonies on Friday that the whole world is going to see. you got to tell us at this point, Alana. you got to give us a sneak peek. What can we expect? Anything you can tell us? No. I can't, actually. Everything is very confidential, um, but it's very cool. I got to go to the dress rehearsal on Monday, actually, and I'm lucky enough to go again tonight. Um, and it's really spectacular, and I think Vancouver's done a really good job uh, to make the world proud. And give us just a sneak peek about uh, anything, maybe just your role in, in the ceremony, what you might be dancing to. Um, I can't, I can't really. Um, it's all just going to be a surprise, and I think it'll be better that way. Just for absolutely no one to know about what's going on. I think this is the first time that we're actually seeing one of these opening ceremonies in an indoor stadium, right? This is, I know last year, certainly in, in China, was in an outdoor uh, stadium. And then uh, the last one you remember, it was also in the natural city. Is, is it going to be different because it's indoors? Um, yeah. I'm not sure how they're going to be lighting the flame, because usually it's outdoors for the whole public to see. So it'll be interesting to see um, how they make that work. Any idea uh, how Canada, the whole country, their theme will be kind of woven into uh, the opening Olympics at all? Um, Everyone's really excited, and I think what's bringing everyone together so far is the torch relay. I got to go to one last night in Richmond. Um, it was so much fun, and I was really excited. Um, the crowd was amped. There were thousands of people. It was actually the largest um, official torch relay celebration last night. Um, so I think that's what's amping up the people and bringing them together, because the torch goes through their small city, and they're able to be a part of it, even if they can't be in Vancouver. A little bit about you. You're from Orange County originally. Uh, you, as you mentioned, you, you went up in June to, to try out for uh, the opening ceremony to Canada. How long have you been there now, and what's been the experience like for you? Um, I've been here since the middle of December. Um, it's been fantastic. I'm staying with um, a great family, um, and I'm really fortunate to have found them. They kind of take me on a lot of nature walks and hikes. Yesterday I went on a seven-mile hike um, to this beautiful beach. Um, so I've been seeing a lot of the city of Vancouver, as well as the beautiful, beautiful landscape and everything it has to offer as far as nature and stuff like that. Um, the city is absolutely gorgeous. It's got the beautiful blue ocean on one side and the huge mountains on the other side. Um, so it's, it's been a good time so far. Talk to us uh, about the actual uh, trying out for, for the uh, opening ceremonies as a dancer. How difficult was it, and was there a, a lot of competition? Um, I believe there were about 6,000 um, people auditioning. Um, it was ballet-based, the, the area that I danced in, and um, it, was, it was pretty hard. It was a hard audition, but really inspiring. Um, made me want to go back instantly. It kind of made me a little bit emotional, just that um, I was in Canada, at the time auditioning for what I really believed in. I really believe in the spirit of the Olympics. Um, and I was excited to audition even if I, I didn't get in. So just the audition alone, I think would have been worth it. But I was lucky enough to be invited to actually be here. And now it's just awesome. <laughs> so 6,000 people auditioned. Do we know how many people actually were chosen to actually participate in the opening ceremony? Um, I don't actually. It's mostly on a volunteer basis. Um, so there's a lot of people volunteering to help out. I'm not sure how many. Right, well, mentioned ballet, so I, I've got to assume here, Alana, that there's going to be some ballet <laughs> in the opening ceremony. Can you give us that much at least? There is. However, I'm not actually doing ballet. Um, the audition I, oh, the audition I went to was ballet, um, but. We tried our hardest. So let's talk a little bit, though, more about uh, living in uh, Vancouver for the better part of the last, uh, what, almost two months now. Uh, you mentioned that you're with the family. You mentioned the incredible city there. 
lots of people are reporting how unusually warm it is there for the winter. We, we see reports of them trucking in snow for some of the events. What is it like out there? Um, yeah, it is quite warm. Um, not exactly for me. I still think it's cold, but then again, I'm from L.A., so um, I would think it's warm. But they are bringing in um, trucks full of snow. Um, but I think everything is going to be set up, and they aren't worried about the snow issues. There are two events where um, things are going to be taking place. The one's in Whistler. There are no problems there. There's a couple hours up in the mountains. And then there's some things happening at Cypress. I'm not sure they're having a little bit of difficulty, but they have everything covered, and I think it'll be good to go for all the athletes. It's got to be a change of pace for you. I mean, considering Los Angeles winters, I mean, with regard, without regards to this one, because it's cold right now here, but usually it's not as cold, and you're now in Canada, which means it's cold a lot. Uh, how are you dealing with the cold weather? It is <laughs> it's pretty cold. I layer, layer, layer. Um, but it's not as bad as I thought it was going to be, actually. Um, Vancouver is considered the California of Canada. Um, not quite, but it's a lot warmer than what they're getting on the East Coast right now. Um, so kind of left, left out in that sense that it's not that cold. <laughs> Talk to us a little bit about uh, the folks over in Vancouver. Do they have that Canadian accent, A? Eh? You know, do, do, they, do they talk like that? Do they talk like that? Um, they do. I'm trying to get into it. I try and incorporate A uh-huh. at the end of my sentences sometimes. Um, but it's, it's cool to hear a song like that. Um, I'm hearing a lot of different dialects because more and more foreigners are coming um, from all over the world. So I think it's pretty cool to walk down the street and hear all these different languages around you, um, even though I'm in Canada. So what does that kind of be like for you, I mean, experiencing, I mean, even though you are a dancer in the Olympics, you are really experiencing the Olympic spirit in that city, just like every other resident is as well. What is that like for you? Um, it's the biggest adventure of my life, I think, um, so far at least. Um, just spectacular. It's really hard to put into words, but being in the city where there's this much excitement, um, just amps up all the excitement that I've been feeling for months and months and months. Talk to us what the uh, training schedule like has been for you as a dancer on the opening ceremonies, and will you also dance at the closing ceremonies as well, or are you done after the opening ceremonies uh, when it's all said and done on Friday? Um, I'm actually just dancing in the closing, um, but I was allowed to view the opening ceremonies as being a part of the cast. Um, so the rehearsals are pretty sporadic. Um, they're kind of focusing a lot more on opening right now, clearly, it's in two days. Um, but, you know, they range from two hours to five hours to all day, and they're really exciting. Every time I go in for a new rehearsal, more and more aspects of my segment are being added in. So it's cool to see how it all works together and what they're planning in their heads as a choreographer and see it come to life for them. I guess to be uh, intriguing as a dancer, you really don't get to see perhaps the big picture, just kind of your role in that big picture. So I guess you'll see it when it's all said and done, right, when, when, you, when you finally dance in the closing ceremony. Exactly, yeah. Yeah, I don't really know much about all the other segments. Um, um, but I'm sure they're awesome. <laughs> so what your parents uh, think about this experience when you're there down on Orange County, I'm assuming, what is that like? Um, they miss me. We talk on Skype a lot, actually. Um, but they're really excited as well. Um, my mom tells everybody she knows. <laughs> so there's no doubt be uh, watching the closing ceremonies trying to find you somewhere in the crowd of dancers, no doubt, right? <laughs> Definitely. They're going to have their eyeballs on the screen. <laughs> All right, Lana, is there anything else you want to tell us about your experience so far in Vancouver? We know you'll be there at least for another two weeks after the opening ceremonies for the closing ceremonies, and then you're coming back to Los Angeles. Yep, I'll be coming back down there uh, beginning of March. Well, we hope to see you a lot. <laughs>